Hey guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. In today's tutorial, let's take a look at how to open WYSIWYG Web Builder version 14 or 15 or even lower version files or project files in version 16. So there are a couple of ways to actually go about this. I'm going to walk you through all these processes. So the first one is, um, first of all, if you have your application um, launched, all you have to do is to simply come to file and then you go to open. So at this point, you get to browse to the location of your old project file. So in my case, it's going to be somewhere here and I should find it. Um, let me just go ahead and then open this. And then once I come to where the project file is located, I can just go ahead and click on it and then click on open. As you can see, I have my project file open here. Now you realize that there's some sort of prompt or note over here, which is warning us that once we um, go ahead to save this project file, in this particular version we can no longer open it in our previous version so it says that this project file was created with a previous version of WYSIWYG web builder so this was a version if you make modifications to this project you'll no longer be able to open it in older version so this is very important notice which you have to take note of now before you can or you before you actually go ahead to um, open um, older project files in version 16 I really recommend that you actually create a backup or a copy of those project files before you go ahead to open them and save them in version 16. So this is the first way to go about this. Now, another way you could also go about this is that you browse to the location of the project file you have on your system. So as you can see, this is my project file. Now, if you take a look over here, it's actually automatically um, changed to version 16. It should have been version 15. Now, in case you don't have this, um, one way you can go about this is simply right clicking on this, coming to properties, and then you come to change where you have open with. So at this case, um, at this section, you're able to select WYSIWYG Web Builder um, that is version 16. So in case yours is um, version 15 by default. So if you don't have it as part of the files over here, just come to look for another app on this PC, and this is going to take you to program files. So you go ahead to um, locate your WYSIWYG Web Builder. So in my case, I'm running 32-bit version of it. So I just browse to this particular location and then I come to WYSIWYG Web Builder version 16. And then I go ahead and I select it over here. So once I select this, click on open, that is going to be the default um, program, which is going to open all WYSIWYG Web Builder. So once you have that done, all you can also do over here is simply right click on this. That is another way to go about this. So you right click on this come to open with and then you go ahead and then select with your web builder version 16 so in case you don't have version 16 here simply come to more apps the same process come to look for app on um, pc and then browse to where you have your program installed so which is going to be 32-bit version um, that is 32-bit architecture and then i you browse to the location of with your web builder you go ahead and i select it Click on open and this is going to actually load with your web builder and then open your project file. As you can see, we have our project file open over here and we also have this prompt over here since it's our first time of opening this particular project in version 16. So kindly take note of that so that you don't end up, you know, messing up in case you would have to open the same project in the previous version that it was created in. So that is just about it for this particular video. In case you are new to this channel, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button. And then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it too. Dapsonish Mio here. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.